According to analysts, several factors have contributed to the increase in the prices of agricultural produce over the past two years. But they say there has been some relief on that front. If you were to compare what grain prices are today uh, from where they were in around about March, they've already been coming down. And in fact, the FAO Global Food Price Index um, has been coming down over the past uh, three months on that indicating uh, that softening on prices. And it's not just the conflict in Ukraine that's affected grain prices. Other variables such as weather have it, uh, you know have had an impact, uh, especially in the in, in the US. Uh, the, you know the, uh, the the crop is in the growing growing stage and uh, weather conditions if they are uh, adverse uh, they they result in the you know um, the spike in, in in prices due to the concerns of the of the possibility of uh, you know uh, limited uh, you know supplies or, or yields coming com, coming down. Despite initial concerns on whether the Ukraine Russia grain deal would be implemented, there have been some positive developments. We hear reports of the first shipment that have come out of Ukraine with Russia uh, with Ukraine and taking it to the to the world market. So the hope that is that Ukraine will continue to be seeing exports in the coming months and that will. Uh, soften global prices. The grain prices play an important role in South African food inflation data, but local consumers won't see an immediate price change. These sort of price movements, particularly on the global front, typically takes between three and four months or so for these sort of price shocks, particularly in the, in the grain and oilseed markets, to sort of fully manifest in retail prices. Looking ahead, analysts will be monitoring some key factors. The weather issues in the Northern Hemisphere and the level and duration of the U.S. Fed sort of interest rate adjustments. I think high interest rates will dampen demand for commodities and sort of weigh on, on prices. And, you know, this would also be then transmitted to local prices, but could be offset by relatively weaker local currency as, you know, weaker rand is associated with, with higher U.S. interest rates. South Africa recorded a bumper maize harvest. It's estimated that it will export about 3 million tons of maize. And the country has already imported most of the maize and grains needed for export to its neighbours. Food inflation remains a concern for economists and consumers, and hopefully there'll be some downward pressure on the price of grains, and that'll mean the downward pressure on the inflation rate.